Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 20th. You know the timing is fluid. The timing is fluid in this reading is not sign specific. That means it may or may not be for you. This could be coming up in the next coming days, the next week. Uh, typically, these daily vibes tend to resonate at a specific time for each person, and that's different. So this time I'm going to get two of these first for an overall energy. We're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What's coming up? Oh, man holding heart. So we got this man that is holding his heart. Uh, looks as though uh, he's pretty serious. He's got a serious look on his face. He's thinking about giving it away. He's thinking about making an offer. Um, but he's still in the thinking process because he still has it. Okay, he hasn't, he hasn't uh, uh, given it away fully yet. Okay. Um, he's holding on to us. We have a man holding heart. Um, you know, you he's probably getting ready to open his heart by the looks of things. Um, his heart may have been ripped out in the past. Um, he's, he's pretty reluctant to give it away, probably. He is definitely thinking about it. He is thinking about it. Um, this could, you know, when you see man holding heart... You know, another reason a man could be holding his heart is because of heart pain, okay? So, somebody may be experiencing some heart pain. Just, I gotta be honest with you. One more card, please. Oh. Well. Woman holding heart. And contract. Now you notice the way these fell out. They did come out reversed. Looks like we have a contract between a soulmate contract. Okay, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. We have a soulmate contract here. Um, <laughs> gonna have to get another stand for the middle card but it looks to me as though I feel as though this man has been maybe he's been withdrawn he withdrew himself he didn't give it away she may and this came out reversed so it feels like the, the feminine the woman or the feminine may be uh, uh, taking a step back she may have made a made a decision to not give her heart away. She's taking her heart back, or she's not giving it anymore. She's not reciprocating. There's lack of reciprocation here. She's she's uh, withdrawn. Okay, so now it's made him think. So we have a woman that has uh, her heart is off, obviously broken. Her heart is broken for some reason. Um, she has, she may be shutting down emotionally. She, she's probably not giving her, she's not expressing her feelings anymore. She's pulling back. She's, she is, she's pulling back because it came out reversed. And there is, there's an element of uh, being unbalanced here. This contract is probably coming to an end. It's coming to an end because he hasn't fully given his heart. He's not, his heart isn't completely in it. But it's made him think. This has really made him think. So I am going to leave these upright, but I'm going to get another stand. Um, so interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. So we have this woman. We have this woman who has decided it's like she's like she's got she's it's like I, I, here it is here it is but it takes equal give and take it takes reciprocation it's about reciprocation it's about um bringing being you know is equality equality so we definitely have these two people that are reevaluating their connection 
it is definitely a soulmate connection. It is a soulmate. There's no doubt about it. This is a soulmate connection. So we have a soulmate connection here where it's like, you know, she's looking away. It's like, here it is. And he's thinking about it, but it takes two, you know. They're both going to have to put their heart in it. They're both to keep it balanced. You both have to put your heart in it. So it's like we have, these people are both holding, they're holding back. They're both holding back instead of, you know, putting their full hearts in it. So interesting, interesting. Um, hmm. We have a woman that has a really, really, really big heart here. This is a, this is a, that's a big one. A very big heart. She's kind and she's generous and she's beautiful and looks like she's giving it. Okay, she's, she's giving it. She's like, here it is. This guy is, he's just thinking about it. You can see by the look on his face. She's reluctantly giving it. He's like, uh, I'm going to hold on to it. It's like... For some reason, he's not fully giving it away. She's showing it. She's showing her love. She is. It's it's big. She's showing her love. But he's like, if you can tell, I, I'm reading the card. He's like, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure about this. Takes equal give and take to make something work. Interesting. Nine of Wands reversed. So Nine of Wands reversed is uh, refusing to compromise. Somebody's refusing to compromise. And because they're refusing to compromise, they're going to experience a setback. Somebody wants to have their own way and they're refusing. They're refusing to budge. We have somebody here that is very disagreeable. Maybe extreme pride. Eight of cups reversed. Now this is pretending to be happy, superficial, staying put. Pretending to be happy. Staying in a situation that doesn't make them happy. But, but you know, not, uh, not walking away from it. It doesn't make them happy. But they're pretending that it does. Or staying in a situation that is very emotionally unfulfilling. Doesn't don't want to take ownership. Don't doesn't want any sort of confrontation. So we have somebody here that is, is staying put in a situation. Um, needing to make a choice. A choice between two. We have a choice between two here. I feel like we have somebody here that is juggling. They're going back and forth. They're probably confused. They're not happy where they're at. They're not happy, but they're refusing to budge. They're refusing to budge on something. They're refusing to compromise. They're thinking about it. They are definitely thinking about it. They're thinking long and hard. Trying to find balance. Trying to be flexible, but having a hard time. This is about a partnership. And I think that we, we have we have somebody here that is, is stressing out because they know they have to make a choice. You can't have both. It's got to be one or the other. So I think we have somebody that is um, really struggling with giving their heart away. It's like they know what their heart wants, but they, they aren't doing it because... I'm not sure why. Why aren't they doing it? It's like they're just, maybe there's some sort of fear. Oh, there's another woman here. There's another woman. Okay, the Queen of Wands in reverse is another woman. Maybe, and this could be fear. It could be fear. Fear of what the other person is going to do. Somebody could throw a fit. Somebody could have an, an, an outburst. They could act in a revengeful manner. Um, there's another woman. The Queen of Wands in a reading comes up. It means there's another woman. And this other woman could be a mother. It could be a sister. It could be an ex. It could be another lover. There's an, there, or a co-worker. There is a woman that is causing problems. 
She's negative. She's negative. She's a, she's not very, she's very pessimistic. She's very controlling. She likes to get her own way. The star reverse. Now the star reverse is losing hope. Not very helpful. We have somebody here that is not being very helpful. They're trying to stop somebody. It's like they're trying to stop somebody from giving their heart to somebody else. This person is a malicious gossip. The star reversed is, 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 is a why card. Why, why, why is this happening? It's happening because there's another person that is meddling. Another person is meddling. This is a meddler. The fool. We have somebody here that is being called to take a risk and step into new territory, but there's some sort of, maybe there's somebody that is, is giving them poor advice. We have, a, we have a new beginning here. It's exciting. There's an exciting opportunity to start over. But there's, a, there's an element of, of uh, there's somebody in the picture right in the middle. There's somebody in the middle that is is pessimistic, very pessimistic, trying to control the situation, saying things that they shouldn't be. It's like there's somebody that is refusing to move on. This is refusing to move on. There's like another woman, and I don't know who this is, is refusing to move on from somebody. We do have a new beginning here. That is exciting. But there's a lack of spirituality here. Somebody just doesn't know. They're totally unaware. They're unaware of, of what is going on. Oblivious. I feel like we have somebody here that needs to protect themselves from this person who is spewing out crap that they know nothing about. This this is like somebody that is miserable and misery loves company. Now this is a choice. Somebody and it looks like it's this masculine that needs to make a choice. She's offering a brand new beginning. She is. She is offering a fresh start. But this masculine may have a contract or may have been in a contract with this person. And maybe it's a karmic contract with this person that is selfish and needy and lies and gossips and is a meddler. So this person may, be in a, may have had some sort of contract with this person. This person may say, don't compromise, stand your ground, don't do this, don't do this. person doesn't know. You know, you got to live your own life. This person may not, whoever this meddler is, may not want that person to move on, move into something better, wants to keep that person stuck. Misery loves company. Anyway, two of pentacles, this is a choice. We have a choice, a choice between two, absolutely. We have this guy that is trying to choose. He's trying to be flexible. He's trying to make everybody happy. He's looking for wish fulfillment. He, on one hand, there's a dream come true over here. Okay. There is. This is a dream come true. There's an opportunity to have it all, to be deeply satisfied. But on the other hand, you have to walk away from something that truly isn't making you happy, which is this other person. It's, it is. You have to choose. You have to choose. Do you want extreme happiness? Do you want to follow your dreams? Do you want to have it all? Or do you want to keep holding on to something that doesn't make you happy that you, ha not, you have no emotions for? 
So this is, we do have a masculine that hasn't completely given his heart away because he knows that he has to make a choice between two. He sees an opportunity for extreme happiness, but there's, there's an avoiding this other woman and this woman, whoever this person is, this person is a meddler. Trapped, stuck, needing to reevaluate. We're having somebody here that is really in their head. They're having a very, very, very hard time. It's like refusing, total oblivious, like I said. Eyes closed, can't see, doesn't, you know, stuck, trapped. We have somebody here that is trapped. They're trapped in their head over what to do. It's like they're not seeing the situation clearly. Their eyes are partially closed. It's like they're just refusing to see. Okay, this is like avoidance and this is refusing to see. Refusing to see that who they're dealing with is causing problems. So we got somebody here that is, is oblivious to it all. They are. Now this Eight of Swords is, there's an obstacle in the way. And it is this other woman. This is an obstacle. But this person has been lying to themselves. Or maybe they just didn't want to see. They didn't want to see it for what it is. Or they're just not wise enough to know better. Um, Eight of Swords. That is mentally trapped. And it is a card of fear. Somebody is, is trying to keep this man tied to them. Eight of Swords. Mental conflict. Reevaluating. We have somebody here that is reevaluating and they are really, really thinking about what to do here. They are. This this masculine is reevaluating. He's got somebody that has a really big heart. It's very clear. It's like she's expressed her heart. She's given her heart away. It's available. She's like reluctantly doing it though. You see, she's very reluctant. But she's offering a fresh start. She's offering a new beginning. This one's probably like, oh my God, why is this happening? Why is this happening? I was getting so close. I, it was so close. I was so close to getting this person back. But this person is hiding their true feelings and pretending that, you know, they're not emotionally invested, but they are. And this other guy is like uh, oblivious to it all as to what is going on. This one is very sneaky, sneaky, very tricky, very, very uh, uh, malicious, does things in a very secretive manner right here. This one is is uh, trying to instill fear and doubt into this person. Because she doesn't want to be let go. The sun reverse, not a happy camper. We have this 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 person right here that is not a happy camper. This person isn't uh, healthy. This person isn't very enlightened, and I think they are selfish. I think we have a very selfish individual here that is trying to keep a person tied down. They're trying to keep a person stuck. Um, whoever they're, they're doing it to is completely oblivious to their scheme. Okay, this person is oblivious. Um, now, this is... This is uh, tied down for sure because the sun upright is freedom and this is reversed so and this is not freedom either so they're try we have this other person that is trying to keep somebody uh, it's like they're trying to get them to to stop them from falling in love or something we have a very negative individual here we do. We have a very negative individual here that is miserable. This person is miserable. This is somebody that's not being honest with themselves, not following their heart. So I feel like we have this masculine, if you look what's right below it, that is not following his heart. His heart wants 
to be loved, but there's this other person that is meddling. So there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. Should the choice be made to go after your dreams? It's like there's an offer of love and I feel like this person is going to take it. I think this person is going to choose to take the love. Um, they're going to walk away. I think because you think there's eight of cups right here and then there's one in his hand. He decides to go after love. So I do believe that we have a masculine that is going to follow his heart. Let's find out. Six of Cups reversed. Something to do with children. We may have something to do with children here. I feel like somebody may be... Uh, you know, when you get the Six of Cups reversed, that is freedom from obligation. It means uh, you're done. You're done. Uh, you're, I don't need you anymore. Somebody may be hearing that. I don't need you anymore. Um, packing up. Pack your stuff. You know, that kind of thing, Six of Cups reversed, is um, letting go of the past. Letting go of this other person. I think this other person is going to be let go. I think this masculine is, is ready to be loved by this person that has a really big heart. So I do feel like we have a masculine that is uh, really thinking right now. He's thinking about this woman with a big heart. And he is probably seeing an opportunity for wish fulfillment. He's definitely not happy with the decision that he has to make. He's not happy about it. But somebody is about to be relieved from their obligations. Nothing stays the same. Nothing does stay the same. So, one more card. King of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles reversed is um, somebody that has made some poor decisions, isn't stable, isn't secure. Um, may do may do things against the law. The King of Pentacles reversed is a person that may do things against the law. This person. Um, is lazy. May feel like he doesn't have anything to offer. Hmm. We're going to have to clear. We're going to get one more. What is this King of Pentacles reversed? The King of Pentacles in reversed is an individual who wastes money doesn't really focus on um, anything but money okay this person may be very egotistical it could go many ways the, let me get another card yeah this guy isn't looking for love he's looking for some sort of stability He may have made a poor decision to not go follow his heart. Because this guy, in the reverse, this person does things, you know, stupid, does stupid things. There could be an unrequited love situation here. This guy made a poor decision. This is unrequited love. To entertain somebody he didn't love. But now he's freeing that person from their obligations because he has another opportunity for big love. That's what I see. So yeah, I think we have a new beginning here. I think we have a masculine that is um, about to make a choice between two somebody's gonna get relieved of their obligations it may have something to do with children there's two children on this card could be a father could be a masculine could be a business owner this guy is not happy at all you can tell by the look on his face he's not happy he's definitely not happy at all 
He may have lost a love. Okay, the Page of Cups reversed. There may have been a rejection. There could be shattered dreams here. It's like their dreams, his dreams have been shattered because of his poor decision. So anyway, I do feel as though uh, this masculine is, is thinking about following his heart. He hasn't done so yet. Um, is he going to communicate with the one he loves? Last card. Last card. Four of Wands reversed. Four of Wands reversed. I would say that this party is over. This party is over. There's nothing to celebrate. It's cleanup time. It's time to clean up this mess. There could be a relationship that is about to be more committed because somebody is choosing to uh, stop pretending to be happy with whoever else they were with or stop pretending to uh, not want to be in a relationship. I think there is something unexpected that is going to happen. I think a relationship is about to step it up to the next level because this masculine is going to choose between the two, whoever they are. I got the temperance reversed right here. That's frustrated. This guy is very frustrated. Very frustrated. Re-examining, needing to re-examine the whole scenario. So I feel like in the next day or two, um, we have the, these this soulmate contract that is on the table here. There's an opportunity to start over. This masculine is thinking about it heavily. He's thinking about um, uh, breaking free from this other person that uh, he doesn't love. And... Uh, he may be even offering an apology because this could be an apology. Um, definitely an element of, of I made a, I made the wrong decision. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I hear. So good luck.